Hey, it's Maddie. Um, if you didn't hear, this might come as a surprise to you, but um, I'm quitting YouTube. Yeah, if you told me a couple years ago, I'd be just as shocked as you. And I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little scared, nervous about the unknown and what's gonna happen. It's something that I never thought I would do, or at least not for like a really long, long time. One minute I'm wondering if I'm making the biggest mistake of my life. And the next, it feels like the exact right thing I need. You ever noticed how everyone is talking about balance? Except I don't think I've ever met a person who's arrived at balance. I don't know about you, but life rarely feels like it's balanced. It's either loud and chaotic, stressful and busy, or it's quiet. Still, feels like I can breathe and just be. And it feels futile forever trying to force quiet into chaos and hustle into time off. Don't get me wrong, I think most things in life are about balance. It just might not be the kind of balance we think. Maybe it's more of a balance of seasons. I've been having less and less of the quiet seasons and more and more of the loud. That's why I'm quitting YouTube. This season doing YouTube has been the greatest adventure of my life. And part of me is scared that this was it. The most fulfilling, wild, satisfying season of my life is over and I'm choosing to end it? There have been multiple times in my life where I've had to decide to keep doing the same thing or take a risk to see what else could be. It's like I'm editing a video, taking out the blade tool and making an edit in the timeline of my life, ending one season and starting a new one, not knowing if the next season will now be better or worse. The crazy thing is, nobody ever knows. How could you know until you take that step? And funny enough, that's how I got here. I already thought making wedding videos and corporate videos was the coolest job I could imagine. It's wild to think where I would be if I didn't take those steps forward. And I know what you're thinking. Why would you leave so much on the table? So many views and subscribers and probably the biggest one most people think of is money. I'm leaving a lot of money on the table. And that used to scare me too. Not taking full advantage of every single second of doing YouTube until I realized if I'm not leaving money on the table, I'm leaving something else. Whether it's time with my family, or getting to do hobbies I love, or learning new skills, or traveling with friends just for pure enjoyment and wonder. I used to be scared of leaving money on the table, and now I'm way more terrified of not living life itself. So I know this feels a bit sad for you guys, and it does for me too. Change is so often bittersweet, but honestly, this is a good thing. I keep saying I'm taking a year off, maybe because it's less scary and less definitive, but honestly, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I've made over 700 videos on this channel over the last seven years, and that's unreal, but also a bit of a problem. You can't forever be emptying the tank, giving your everything. Which leads me to one other person that I need to thank that's been incredibly important to this channel. And that's you. I am so incredibly grateful for you. All of you who have watched my videos, supported me, cheered me on, came to thank me in person on the street, learned from me, and showed me so much gratitude for the videos I've made. You are the reason this has been the wildest ride of my life. I know this success is not just because of what I've done, but because literally millions of people have supported me over the last seven years. And I will be forever grateful for you. 
thank you. And I, I hope we'll get to see each other again. Oh, hey, uh, you made it to the credits. Thanks for watching this Japan Travel Feel series. I had a lot of fun making it, even though I got sick for about two weeks during the editing. Yikes. This whole trip started when Epidemic Sound challenged me with this idea of loud versus quiet and how music and sound effects can be used to make people feel such strong and often contrasting emotions, whether it's the chaos of a city or the serene moments in the mountains. And it just resonated so strongly with my own personal journey of YouTube and where I'm at right now. I need some of that quiet. Thank you, Epidemic Sound, for making the whole trip happen. Go and check out the link down below to get 30 days free. They have incredible music and sound effects for your videos. And it's safe to say this whole series would be a pretty big dud if I didn't have the music from Epidemic Sound. I'm always blown away at how good the music is and just how big their library is. Seven years of YouTube and I've never run out of good music to use. Thank you, Epidemic Sound, for sponsoring this trip. Oh, also, if you're wondering, I filmed this whole project on the Sony FX3 and A7S III, mostly using the Sigma 35mm f1.2 that thing is a beast you know when it's just so good that you don't want to leave and you just want to keep filming and keep filming and it just keeps getting better and different and cool and that's right now dude i'm like legit crying it's so beautiful <laughs> sorry am i am i ruining i'm like vlogging over here and chris is crying i'm sorry for ruining your emotional moment no it's just it, how can you not appreciate how beautiful our place is. It's crazy. As cheesy as that is, it's like... It's nah, crazy. that's the truth right there. Tyler, are you crying or...? No, I'm gonna ruin it. Do we need a thumbnail? <laughs> Do we need a thumbnail here? Is this a thumbnail spot? <laughs> Manager Tyler. Manager Tyler. just this always, always, always looking out for me. <laughs> like, I'm gonna go down by the water now. <laughs> hey, are we still talking? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for helping me with filming and just being an incredible human being. Thank you, Manager Tyler, for being the adult when we all need it and making every trip more fun. Hope that bell worked. And yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry I made it so dramatic. I know it's just YouTube. I hope I'll be back someday, but hey, let's see what happens. Lastly, thank you, Japan. You're incredible, and I can't wait to go back and explore more. I feel like I'm supposed to say something more if this is my last trip. Last travel feels, last YouTube travel yeah, video. All year to write this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it for me. Bye.